Tuple Pup is the new. You'll be trying to clear your board, but the goal of Tuple Pup is to clear the Grumbles. These folks. They're your friends, trapped inside blocks, and it's up to you to free them. You can do that single player, or two to four players in co-op, or players or teams versing each other. There's a time attack mode, which is all about speed, and there's battle mode, which is all about covering your opponent in garbage. It's a blockbuster of a game, and it's easy to get the hang of. But there are some subtle techniques at work here that make Topple Pop great for high-level competitive play as well. That's what we're focusing on today. In Topple Pop, your character and the piece you're holding are always moving slightly. You can lock them into place so they'll fit more neatly on top of each other, and you can rotate between horizontal and vertical. But if you just fling it or drop it, it might be quick, but you're at the mercy of the game's physics. It's a question of speed versus precision. Matching four of the same color will clear them from the board. That includes the grumbles. Any gray pieces, also known as garbage, that are touching the match will also be clear. Notice how this player drags the piece along more garbage to clear that too. That's called aftertouch. There's a window of time where you can clear more pieces of the same color or more garbage, either by dragging it or just flinging it across the screen. It can be a great way to clear those grumbles that are hard to reach. Diagonals do count. So if you can fit your piece onto a tower and keep it there, that'll work. For rougher situations, you can shove your piece into place, or shove other pieces away. Watch this player shove their piece to manipulate the physics to get the match they need. Clearing all of a particular color means you remove it completely from that game. It won't appear in your queue of pieces anymore, which means when you're trying to get the best time on a level, often a good strategy is to figure out which colors you can eliminate first. If you can get a color match that cascades into another color match, that's great. And if you're versing another player, that'll cause garbage to fall down on their side. It doesn't necessarily have to be a cascade. If you get lots of matches in quick succession, it'll build up your chain and dump lots of garbage on them. But watch out, because if they have a chain ready to go, that'll effectively parry the attack and send garbage back your way. Quickly rotating your block is called rummaging, a time-consuming technique, but one that can get you out of a bind. If you have access to steel, you can play with or against anyone just like they were sitting next to you. Each type of level has different blocks, such as the forest with its prickly blocks, or the temple with blocks that turn into other blocks, or the volcano with bombs and rising lava. There's a lot more to explore here, and new levels come out every day and every week for you to compete on times. In co-op, working together can yield inventive solutions. It's a great mix of strategy and skill. It's coming to PC, console, and later mobile platforms. The Topple Pop demo is available on Steam right now, so you can jump in, start learning, and see where you place on the leaderboards. We'll see you in the game.